All right, quick update on FitFi. So, uh, we have had another rejection since my last video. Let's jump right into this. Well, uh, my last video, I think it was a couple of days ago, we were, we were basically the same price target as we were. But what we've actually done is, you know, we've broken down. We've got this fib here. We capitulated down to the 1.618. We bounced into the EMA ribbons. We got a rejection. We moved down. We broke below the 2.618, came all the way down, rejected off the 2.618, came down, we W'd out, got a rejection from the 1.618, and quite recently, you know, in the past four to eight hours, we've once again come up to the 2.618 and got rejected. So in my opinion, it is probably quite likely that we are going to move to the downside now. We also do have something reminiscent of a head and shoulders pattern playing out on the price chart for FitFi. So a move below approximately 11.1 cent, that would mean that we would be moving to the downside, unfortunately, on this head and shoulders pattern. Well, I say unfortunately, but I'm not actually invested in FitFi at this moment in time. Uh, I was invested in FitFi round about here and the cowboy family we got out round about 50 cent when the ema ribbons flipped bearish we were riding this trend and the whole time the whole time we were riding this trend we were telling you these moved earns they are here for a short time they're here for a good time they're not going to be here for a long time and especially within these type of market conditions moved earns thrive when there's tons of money coming into the ecosystem so they can use that money uh to implement more forms of rewards and loot boxes and all of that good stuff Look, move to earns really only work when there's money coming into the ecosystem. I mean, think about it. Uh, how are you going to make a move to earn when there's no money coming into the ecosystem? Because you have to pay those people for moving somehow. Those people are paid out using, uh, you know, fiat money that has flown into the market cap in order to buy up the supply. So for Fit5, people buy up the shoes. They use some of the monetary value for those shoes to give back to to holders and it's the same thing with green metaverse token people buy up shoes they buy green satoshi token and they simply use some of that monetary value uh to give back to their holders that whole system only works when you're in a bull market and you've got money constantly flowing in now the money has kind of you know the tap has switched as to say we look at the market cap unfortunately the market cap is is flat over on coin market cap which is quite annoying but if we do look at the usd chart uh we can very much see that you know we've been moving down since the hype on this came out and i'm much more interested in how this has been performing against bitcoin because sure we can look at this how it's performing against the usd you can pretty much see that we're coming right back down to the mint price we've wiped out all the gains that we previously saw on fitfi and while I'm not necessarily saying uh, that because this can't survive in a bear market that it won't survive into the next bull market, that's not what I'm saying at all. I do think either Green Metaverse Token or FitFi are going to be the next major move to earn. I mean, they pretty much already are, but I think it's going to be a fight between the two of them of which one makes out the bear market. I think at least one of them is going to survive, but in the short term, like I said, we flip bearish on this at 50 cent, uh, you know, before you call me a perma bear, you know, what was I meant to do? I flip bearish at 53 cent. Did you want me to stay in at 53 cent and get wrecked all the way down here to 12 cent? A lot of people probably will be and they'll be saying, you know, I don't care that I'm 77% down. I'm going to hold it until it goes to the moon. But not a good idea in my opinion these moves to earns they're here for hype trends and when that hype comes back into the market i absolutely plan on capitalizing on it but right now it seems like a lot of the focus has actually shifted back over to gmt and while gmt hasn't necessarily been performing uh, as well recently we're still kind of holding up pretty well gmt is still seeing a, a big surge of you know partnerships they're seeing a big surge of development in terms of their project and while i think both of these are kind of shit coins uh you know at least one of them is going to survive in my opinion you know keeping this short and sweet we just recently came back up to the 2.618 and got rejected and as we are moving down to this fib 
down to the next fib, which is the 3.618, we are going to be breaking to the downside of this head and shoulders pattern. So with all that being said, I do think the next move down that we should expect should probably be this 28% move all the way down to the 3.618. If we were to come all the way down to the price target of this head and shoulders, we could move down about 43%. That's the target for another day, at least in the short term. Let's keep our eyes on this 3.618, in my opinion, this is where the price is going to be magnetized to. Uh, be very careful if you are trading these move to earns and you are trading these altcoins. Like I said, I, I'm not a perma bear on FitFi. I always say this. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't trade it. Uh, or sorry, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just trade it. And what that simply means is I don't have to believe in the long-term fundamentals of FitFi. I don't have to believe that this is a good project. But if I see a good trade and it's worth a buy, then for sure I'll definitely be buying it. Just like I was saying when we got in down here at you know 20 cent 30 cent we were riding this all the way up and as soon as the four hourly emas split bearish at 54 cent we got out of it you know you can go back to my videos on the 9th of may 9th or 8th of may whichever day it was i was getting out of the market back at 54 cent and i do plan on getting back into these move to earns at some point once the market sentiment switches back over to bullish because i do think these will do very well in a bullish market sentiment but Looking at this objectively, I mean, just look at this. We keep on getting battered against the four hourly EMAs. There is no point in being bullish until we flip the EMA ribbons. We were so we were able to perfectly exit this market because of the shift from the bullish sentiment on the EMA ribbons into the bearish phase of the EMA ribbons. And until we flip back bullish, we're just going to be expecting lower price targets. As always, like I say, the trend is your friend until the end. Uh, once again, as always, the Bitcoin dominance is heavily moving up. In the past, you know, three, four weeks or so, Bitcoin dominance has moved up. Well, we're up 12% now. and We've moved up about over 13%. So do not count Bitcoin out. Look at these Bitcoin pairs. I mean, like I said, with FitFi, uh, basically, you know, uh, Bitcoin is outperforming all of these pairs. If we untick the USD and look at Bitcoin, go back uh, from the year to date, or basically from when this started trading, you can see, yes, this outperformed Bitcoin, just like all the other moved earns did when they had their initial first month or two of hype, but then we lost the hype. You know, people moved on to different projects and we're already starting to see this trickle down effect where all of the gains on, I don't care about how FitFi is performing against the US dollar because I trade altcoins in order to accumulate more Bitcoin. So it doesn't matter to me whether FitFi goes down 99% against the US dollar. If I'm able to make a 20% trade against Bitcoin and gain 20% Bitcoin, you know, I don't care whether that's a thousand percent gain against the us dollar or, or whether it's a 50 percent loss i'm in the crypto markets for the long term i'm here to accumulate bitcoin for the long term i'm not here to accumulate move to earns for the long term and this is why we're seeing them already capitulate against bitcoin uh, but like i said i will be here to let you know when i think that next trade for fitfire is going to be coming about but at least in the short term you know bearish momentum is switching over into the favor of the bears daily time frame we unfortunately can't use the squeeze one but we do have a plethora of bearish volume coming in and especially considering we're only halfway through the day and we've got a decent amount of bearish volume coming in i'd say that we're probably going to break through the floor of 11 cent and come all the way down to about eight to nine cent keep your eyes on 11.11 11.1 cent 11.2 cent if we do capitulate below this we're probably going to fall below the head and shoulders pattern this is going to carry us down to much lower levels and before i wrap up the video on the daily time frame you can see we had a textbook rejection of the 13 ema and you know once again the 13 ema is such a good way of understanding whether we're in a bullish or bearish market you can see this didn't load in until here because once it did load in here this was after we had as you guessed it 13 days worth of data traded so only loaded in after 13 days but as soon as we flip the 13 ema absolute landslide i expect it to be the exact same to the upside and i also expect it to be the same with the ema ribbon so what am i looking for to get bullish I'm simply looking for something like this for the price action to move above the 13 EMA and to take out the four hourly EMAs. That would mean a move above 14 cent. I will let you know if and when that does happen, but until something like that happens, train as your friend until the end, expect lower price targets. That's all I've got for FitFi. As always, not financial advice. Cowboy out. Peace.